Good evening and welcome back again. Quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey against Espanyol. And just to give you a little bit of an update, we did receive a transfer bid in for Arcas and it was 20 odd million. We've actually accepted that. And the reasons are is he's probably falling a little bit behind what we're looking at now. He's been a, a great servant for the club. We didn't have much transfer budget remaining, so we did accept that. And we do actually use our transfer budget to pay players their bonuses, things like that. So gradually it does go down. And obviously if we want to make any other signings, we need that money. Starting lineup today, it's pretty much a full strength squad. It's the 11 that would normally go in with without making any changes. So we're going to stick with that. Look at that team, absolutely magnificent. Camp new. I'm still not sure why the cup matches are played in neutral grounds. I understand the final or maybe even the semi-finals, but all of the rounds are played in neutral stadiums. And I'm pretty sure that's not how it is in the Copa del Rey. But anyway, it's a lovely stadium to play in. And like I say, a lot of big stars back today, the likes of Martinelli, Castro, etc. Um Got a win against Barcelona in the last match. It was relatively comfortable in the end. Um, but they're not at their best at the moment, Barcelona. But when you're actually playing them yourself, they're still just as good as you would expect. There's Castro. Marnelli. Marnelli. Oh, how good is this guy? First chance. Ruben Castro with another assist. Nice play by Cousins. Backer supporting on the left. Little ball in from Castro. Couple of touches and just powered it in. Martinelli is such a great player. I'm so pleased I signed him. And Anelli didn't go for him simply because we've got Mudrick. He was a fantastic player in his own right. And he he was that first choice left wing position. Um, but Martinelli, I just like the look of him. And his price wasn't, you know, it was affordable for us. We had to do some dealings to, to get it to get it through in the end with the uh, salary that we would be comfortable with. And the transfer fee as well. So I think his release fee was something like 30 million, roughly around there. Might be in the late 20s, I can't remember now. Around about the 30 million mark, which for that quality of player is not too bad. I mean, you've seen we've got 22 million for Arcas. You know, paying for around about 30 million for Martinelli's pretty good going. And he can play in multiple positions. I still think his best position is that left wing. But... He could play right wing if he needed to. His second best position is up front. Perez. He's through. And, oh, just too far ahead of Martinelli. Thought he was in there. Ooh, that's a corner. Good pressure. Well worked by Martinelli there. Good punch from the keeper. Not the best of uh, corners. Vieira. Oh, straight at the keeper. was very well struck. He bounced it up. For the half volley. Now Maracic wins the ball nicely there. Cousins. He's a... He was a great signing. He was a free signing. Um, Perez. That's not ready to anyone there. Not the best of passes. Can I even get onto it? No. But yeah, now, now it's sort of thinking what are we going to do in the summer? Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see what uh, regens are going to be available. in there again from Castro back up puts good pressure on and it pays off in the end with Herrera with the tackle 
But Carlos Perez losing out. Now, Carlos Perez has been an absolute star for us, but I do think, similar to what we did with Martinelli, could we get someone on the right wing that is already a star, like a higher rating than Perez is, and have Perez as a fantastic number two? Um, I don't know who that would be. Cousins, Martinelli, Cousins again. Oh, what a finish. Martinelli with an assist as well. Like I say, Cousins was a free transfer. Unbelievable. We'll sign him ahead of the, Jan uh, the summer transfer window as his contract was running out. Not even high wages as well. And his overall may not be, you know, the likes of um, absolute top stars that you could go out and buy, but he slots in so well with Vieira and Herrera. We've got Alex Mariba as well, who we paid money for. He's not available today just because he's on a downward red, but um, we paid some decent money for Mariba, but we've got really good quality in midfield now in those central roles. I think it was a free kick and he, the referee tried to play on. Fair enough. Oh, that was unlucky. That was very unlucky. Don't often see deflection deflections like that go in. Um, so it's quite interesting to see that. Of course, when I block it, it goes in, doesn't it? You know, 99% of the time, if it, the defence try and block it, they do, and it doesn't deflect in like that. But never mind. And that's come from nothing. You know, they haven't really created us any problems up until that moment. Don't want to get sloppy. I don't think we were. It was just not the best of challenges and a strange deflection. Astro, nice ball around the corner to Martinelli. Oof, nice work by Castro. He's so good at that. With his back to goal, he takes the ball in and he can often, you know, play it off to someone else or get that snapshot in, which doesn't look like he should be able to. Oh, Perez was free there. The pass was just a little bit too soft, maybe. Defender just had enough time to intercept it. Good block there, though. Oh, Perez, what are you doing? You had it there. Why did you stop running? Don't want to let in a goal just before half time to let in the equaliser. Good tackle from back end. That should be half time, and it is. Martinelli and Cousins with the goals. And somehow we've got the less of the possession, but four shots on target. And their only chance went in, and it was a deflection. But I'm thinking we're totally set for goalkeeper-wise. We've got Schubert, and now we've got a second-choice, very young goalkeeper, Regen, so that's good. Wing-backs, very much sorted for that. Very... Oof. We've got Emerson and Baca as the first choice, and we've got good backups with young players. Centre back, we're good. We could maybe get a proper world class centre back, but I don't think we really need it. We're good for centre midfielders. I do still think if we could get an out and out defensive midfielder where Herrera normally plays at the moment, because I think he's almost better suited to. He is going to break into the ball, but I think you could offer a little bit more if you could get a bit further forward as well. But then, are we just going to have too many midfielders, potentially? Here's Martinelli. Nice ball to Perez. Perez. Oh, well, that was a bit of a strange save slash punch. Potentially, we could get a defensive midfielder. 
and the other one will be a right winger. And that's all I can think of. I don't think we need anything else at all um, after that. Here's Emerson. Ah, oh, deflected. Haven't seen Emerson much today. And he's fallen off the radar a bit. I think Backer, surprisingly, has been the better of the wingbacks, more attacking of the wingbacks of the last couple of months, actually. Here's Martinelli. Ooh, looked like a foul, but he kept it. Perez. Gosh, just so many defenders now. Vieira. Castro. Oh, another strange save. And he is a really good tackle. He is good at tackling. Oh. Right, we'll make some subs now. Brilliant effort. We're going to bring on Bichet for Carlos Perez, Teixeira for Baca, and Cousin's going to come off for Harrington. And of course, we might not even go for a big signing. You know, we might just spot a regen that's pretty good because regens tend to be pretty good quality anyway if you get a, a, a one that was previously a, a star not necessarily a world class star but you know well someone well known um, they're generally better than the youngsters you would normally find at the start of the game oh, Martinelli did well there but then he lost it we need support won it back and then lost it again Comfortable save. But gotta watch it here. We've only got a one goal lead. Oh a little bit unlucky that's took the sting out of it. Emerson. Oh Martinelli. How did he get his head on that? That would have been a fantastic header. Let's watch this again. The the cross was overhit. And he somehow got his head on it. And just going over. Slightly wide as well, I think. Did about the best I could. Nice header to Harrington there. Here's Castro. Now Vieira, again straight at the keeper. We've been getting the shots on target. It's just been, yeah, just not close enough to the posts. Haven't troubled him too much. Ooh, that's really poor. God, it's a free kick, but they'll play on. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, Vieira should have got there, surely. Maybe just didn't have the legs on him. Great tackle from Herrera. Again. Vieira. Hampton. Teixeira. Martinelli. Martinelli. Ah, it's blocked. It's got to be a yellow card in there, surely. Yeah, it is. Hamilton. Oh, Kosinu really should have got a decent strike on that. I think he was free. Nice little header there. Kosinu now. Kosinu on the tack. Castro. Castro again. Oh, that was a good save that time. Tested him a little bit better there, but you would expect him to score.
Here's Hamilton. Martinelli. Oh, wide. I was trying to avoid the block. Which I did. Just didn't get it on target. Had to absolutely power it. Nice header there. And Martinelli could be in for a chance here. Oh, Castro, where are you going? You went the wrong way. It's actually a good pass. Oh, he's offside. Could potentially be the last chance there. It's been a strange game. We've been absolutely dominated. Then they got the goal, which was fortunate, and it's sort of knocked us back a little bit, and we just haven't... My word, that I thought that was in. I just thought that was a goal there. I don't know how he's missed that. Let's have a look at that again. Poor, poor defending. Letting it bounce, and it's just a straight ball through. And oh, he should have been the hero. And that was practically the last kick of the game, or the last chance at least. Unless we can get a an attack going here. Vieira. Oh, deflected and hit the crossbar. Could have been two deflected goals in this match. I will right, we'll have Fabio Vieira take this again. And you get a decent corner. It's the last chance. And that should be it. And it is 2-1 win, and we're through to the semi-finals. So you wouldn't say it's comfortable, 2-1 winners, but a very good performance. 13 shots, 8 on goal. I think, like I said earlier, it was just that the shots we had, a lot of them were just straight at the keeper. And Martinelli getting man of the match, without doubt he was. Kusun's getting a 7.5, good to see that too. And I just looked at the draw before. We're actually playing Atletico Madrid in the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey. So that's a, a top two clash from the league in the semi-final. And we've got the Europa League next. And it's against St. Johnson, which I didn't even know were in the game. So that should be an interesting one, the Scottish team. But I hope you liked the video. If you can, drop a comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.